Today I'm listening to Dimash Kudabergen sing his latest release, Be With Me. Keep watching. Hi everybody, it's Christy Bobby with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. I'm getting a lot of great feedback for my free Come Alive 5 Ways to Unlock Your Purpose and Take Back Your Life. I hope you'll take advantage of this by getting the details in the description box below. Now let's get started. So many of you ask me, why do you keep doing Dimash videos? And part of the reason is because they're so well loved. People click on them, they watch them. And so when you told me that he had a brand new song out on his channel, I knew that I had to take a look at this one really quickly before I got to all of your other requests. So if you'll indulge me, I'm really looking forward to seeing what Dimash is doing in new music today. Let's take a look. Oh, music video. I see you looking my way, and you can feel I wanna dance with me, baby. I see you looking my way, and you can feel I wanna drive me crazy. Yes, I feel a way that you and I want to go and go with me. Show me what it got, baby. You see, move your hips so perfectly. Get ready, everybody. She's so healthy. She wanna party. Oh my goodness, that is so interesting. I was just watching old Bob Fosse videos and I recognized Bob Fosse was a huge influence on Michael Jackson. Why do I say this? Because immediately the moment I hear what Dimash is doing here in this Be With Me music video reminds me of Michael Jackson who was a huge influence on Dimash. It's so interesting to see these artists and who were their main sources of inspiration. And I'm definitely hearing Michael Jackson in what is happening in the track, in Dimash's voice. There's just so much going on that is hearkening back to classic Michael Jackson. And so if you ever want to go down an interesting rabbit hole, look up Bob Fosse on YouTube and you'll see some really interesting, I actually saw him do, he was the snake in uh, Le Petit Prince, the, the Little Prince movie. And uh, you, it, it's literally like wa watching Michael Jackson move. It's so interesting. So all of these things influence us as musicians. Uh, the arts influence and definitely for you young vocalists coming up, I'm sure you have your people who are influencing you and your style and we need that. We need these people to emulate in order to find our own sense of style. So that's really cool so far to see what I'm seeing and I like that he's singing in English. This is really a lot of fun and yeah, really cool. <laughs> interlude. It, this is so funny because <laughs> he's just got so much attitude and I love all of the little things he's doing. You know, he walks by something, he, he eats it, he drinks a glass of water, he does this, you know, to the people who are talking to him. It's just really just fun. I'm also wondering where this was filmed. 
when it was filmed? Is this pre-pandemic? I'd love to know a little bit more about it. So for those of you who are Dimash Deers, who follow this ever so closely, I'd love more education. Leave a comment down below. I'm gonna take you away. I'll take you to a place where nobody wants you. I'm gonna take you away. But don't let if you really want it, so don't you. I'm really impressed by the stage combat that I'm seeing Dimash perform here in this video that takes some real skill to make it look really good and he just looks like a badass seriously he looks so amazing in this video I'm loving the track that's going on um, underneath all of this underscoring it and the rap was so great as well I'm assuming that he is singing in his native Kazakhstani language and rapping in that as well of course there was some English in here as well now, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but to me it seems like that's what he would be choosing because that's his native tongue, his mother tongue as they say, and so I'm assuming that's what is happening at this point in the video. So now, he's chasing this beautiful woman who's running in high heels faster than him because he had to beat up all the bad guys, and let's see what transpires. <laughs> is so much fun and it really shows that Dimash is growing up. He is being seen as a man. I think that he's maybe trying to change his squeaky clean persona. I think of course everybody's kind of seen him as this potential sex symbol kind of person, a performer, and he does have a real charisma on the stage certainly when we've seen him perform live there's something so much fun about a music video because he can act more you see his acting chops which is really a lot of fun and this is just a great video all around there's so much to see so much to look at and it's very entertaining and the song is great so I'm loving this I'm loving this whole experience let's finish this up now and see how this adventure ends <laughs> continued <laughs> awesome oh my gosh and a little Michael Jackson squeal there at the end awesome this is absolutely fantastic let's deconstruct this really fun video a little bit more well what fun this video is I see it as a coming-of-age piece of art for Dimash Kudabergen I see you look in my way and I can feel I want to for me baby I see you looking my way And you can feel it when it's driving me crazy Yes, I feel the right energy And I want to go along with me Show me what you got, baby You see, move your hips up perfectly Get ready Everybody She's all about 
healthy. She want a body. So just from that little clip, you can start to see what Dimash's voice is made of. He has the really light, falsetto, heady sort of sound, and then he's got the real fried vocal uh, that he does as well, the growl that he can do as well. And it's all very controlled, very beautiful, and very reminiscent of Michael Jackson, once again. So it's really a nod to his hero, and he does it so incredibly well. That's what's so amazing to me about Dimash. He is so versatile, and it continues to be seen in this video for sure. Oh, I'm falling in love with your smile I promise you can't be mine Nobody's gonna love you like I do I can feel that the world that I need I'm just amazed at this song and what a vehicle it is to really show off Dimash's very unusual voice because unlike Michael Jackson he has this incredible operatic sound that he can make and it's really fun to hear it in the context of a more pop style song but I didn't notice until watching this again how Dimash dodges someone throwing a glass at him we have to watch this one more time I can feel the, the but that's just the beginning of what Dimash shows us he can do in this more film-like setting. He really shows his ability to act. However, we don't want to lose sight of the fact that he continues to sing in the underscoring of all of the activity that's happening in this adventure story that he's telling in this video. <laughs> interesting the grouping of Tasse bottles. It's not just a grouping of bottles of all different kinds with no labels. It actually has labels on it. So it makes me wonder if this is a product ad placement kind of situation. It seems uh, very much so because then he stops and actually drinks some of what I'm assuming is water. So I wanted to learn what Tasse was, and I learned that Tasse water is the pride of Kazakhstan production of drinking water. People drink Tasse water at home, at work, during sport activities, outdoors, that means blah, 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 it goes on. Obviously, this is from their website, so they are doing really good marketing, and it makes me wonder if they are behind this incredible video. But we're not here to talk about bottled water, are we? We're here to talk about Dimash. So let's get into this next section, which is the rap. So I'm really interested in the Kazakhstani language. There's a lot of a gluh, a guttural kind of laryngeal gluh sound. And it's interesting because I use a guh, guh kind of sound to get people to relax their larynx, especially my male clients who tend to have a lot of tension in their larynx when they're trying to, to learn to use their voice and sing, especially up, up a little higher, trying to get their higher transitions. It can really be a case where they're pulling chest voice up too high. So if we do kind of a guh, 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 we're trying to get back into more of a guh sound, it lowers your larynx. So you can try that at home. Say, uh, guh, guh, guh. 
poke the tongue out a little bit forward. It's such a beautiful sound. It's so lovely to listen to and lovely to look at. But I'm really interested that the Kazakh sounding language has those kinds of uh, sounds. You can hear them and that little bit of rap. Then we go into this really cool sung space where he's kind of leaning in to certain sounds and it just sounds so cool with the way the background vocals are mixed in with his solo voice. Let's listen to that now. I love this because it is yet another technique I use with my clients in helping them kind of start to connect with the resonators, those closed N's and M's. Let's go back and listen to this one more time. You can hear him closing the ends of the phrases he's singing on those consonant sounds. And it is so cool sounding. Then he goes into this incredible stage combat scene, which is absolutely jaw-droppingly amazing. Isn't that just so fun to see? He is so amazing. He looks great in that scene. And it really shows his versatility as an actor. I could see him maybe starting to get into some film work. I'm not sure if that is his desire, but he certainly could do it. He's so multi-talented, and I think that is something I hadn't noticed before I saw this video. So it's really just so great to see how he's stepping out. He's spreading his wings. He's trying some new things, yet staying true to who he is as an artist, as a vocalist. And so, yeah, good for you, Dimash. So the flowers might be another ad placement right there. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Then we get into the scene in the pool, and this is where I really realized that Dimash is definitely growing up. He's pushing back his squeaky clean ways and trying to show that there's more to him than what maybe we've seen in the past. I think this is my favorite part of the video, which is so silly, and it's the part where they take the music underwater when the bad guy jumps in the pool. I just think it's just so clever and really just a little wink and kind of fun. So let's watch that part right now. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm easily pleased, <laughs> but that was just so cute. I just loved it. So now he's got his girl and they are running through the halls. Somehow they managed to dry off, put all their clothes back on and they are running away. Uh, the crazy thing that I want you to listen to is the really cool underscoring that Dimash is doing vocally here. I'm assuming he's providing all the vocals because it sounds like him, layered, multi-tracks of his voice, and it's just so well done. So let's make sure we give a moment to listen to that as we're watching all of this amazing adventure unfold.
Well, that's it for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves Dimash Kudabergen. You can ask me any question about your voice on the comments down below, on my blog at voicelift.co, on Instagram at the Voicelift Company, and now on wizio.com. Get all those details in the description box below. Well, this has been such a fun escape today to watch Dimash take this James Bond-esque sort of adventure and to be with all of you. I know there are so many things you could be doing with your day and for you to spend this little bit of time with me means so much. Keep finding your voice. Keep making your sound in the world today. The world is waiting for what you and only you bring. And remember, you are loved. Bye guys. 